morning. How's it going? Good. What's up, big guy? Hello, my man. How are you? Good, how are you? Hanging in there. Yeah. Getting two of them. I'm doing good. Doing real good. Yesterday was one of the first days in a long time that I knew I was going to wake up sore the next day. Um, it was hot, but we made the best of it. We're out here getting a couple walls finished up, getting some plumbing line ready, um, blasting down all of our walls. I'll explain the gun that we used for that, the whole process, plumbing and lining. And by the end of this video, you guys should have a pretty good understanding of it. If you guys are new here by chance, my name is Matt Pinella. I'm a 23-year-old carpenter out of Central California. I document new construction builds from start to finish in the framing phase. My goal is to help you guys understand this as much as possible. And if you guys aren't in the trades and wanted to get into it, you have a better understanding of what you'll be doing in the case that you do. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Thank you guys for 100,000. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Let's get to it. Now this plate here will lap this wall here, tying those two together, and then we'll just fill in from here, leave three and a half back to where this wall that goes here can overlap that way. Big trifecta of overlapping goodness. Fox is wrapping up some top plate right behind me here. He's also throwing up some 45 degree braces to go alongside the wall. These are called a plumb brace. I'll explain a little bit more about this here in a little bit and really get in depth with you guys and show you what brace does what. That way you guys have the best understanding possible. That would be 
forgot Seal Seal. Seal Seal. magic. Pro tip time. So this thing's being stubborn. I'm gonna show you how to take care of it the easiest way possible. As you can see, you can push and pull, but to get up there and nail it, not gonna happen. Shoot a nail in, leave the head out a good half inch. Ten times easier. Now we're flush. I need a film crew. This guy right here. You need to go with me a little bit. I'm glad we got the heaviest guy on the push stick. I feel so confident. Right, that's what I was thinking. I like it. You're not going to move it a lot, just a little. Alright, I'll be nail boy. How do you do that? Nail it. Don't move. Blast it. Yep. Nail the heck out of it. Couple up and hit her. Are you ready? Yep. Oh yeah, baby. Shield, baby, shield. She's good. Right. We can knock out this one, yeah. It's just a process. Push stick, nailer, someone on a level. Hold. Let off the fuzz. A little bit more. Let off. Nail it. You can come into me a little bit. You? The fuzz bird. Nailer. Got that guy, that guy. That one's done, that one's done, that's done that way. Guy, right? yeah, that break is done. You think we can plumb up pretty much, huh? I could probably handle it. Right. Woo! Here it is. Put that down. Let off a little bit. Woo! Nailed it. Nailed it. You like it? Right there, nail it. There it is. Nailed it. Nailed it. Um. <laughs> Like where it's sitting, Jay? Nail it, huh? That takes care of that. If we move these, that lines that wall as well. So we want to run our string line 
Ah, I got you. All right guys, so let's talk about braces real quick. We have a plumb brace and we have a line brace. Now, sometimes the plumb brace for wall A will also line wall B. For instance, this brace right here is called a plumb brace. It goes up the side of the wall like that, and that's gonna hold that wall plumb. But at the same time, it runs into this exterior out here, and we wanna string line that exterior all the way down and make sure that we're pretty dang straight the whole way. The job of a plumb brace is simple. It's just gonna hold the wall plumb, just like we've been doing we did them on all the corners that you guys just watched, and that just holds the end of the wall plumb. Now, line braces work a little bit differently. They're not gonna go attached to the wall. They're gonna go up against the wall. Now, what a line brace is gonna do is keep that wall straight. So picture a 50-foot wall and a brace every 15 feet or so. You're gonna run a string line from end to end on that wall, and you can have someone sight down that line and tell you whether you need to go in or out, and you push those braces or pull them and make sure that the wall is super straight. From there, you nail the braces, and that lines the wall, keeps it nice and straight. So your plumb braces are only gonna make sure that the end of the wall is plumb. Your line braces are gonna ensure that you have a nice, straight line for your roof to land on. Both are equally as important. When we do plumb and line, we like to start on the exteriors, get all your corners dialed in, and then work your way towards the center, getting you the bedrooms that you've got, the closets need to be done as well. Kinda make sure that everything is good to go. It's a bit of a process but you have to have plumb and line done before you can do any of your shear panel on the exterior. Because once you put that shear on, these walls aren't gonna move. So you wanna get them in place first with all your plumb and your line braces, and then go ahead and sheet. All right, man. Oh, I got you. Dumb brace in my leg. All right. Oh, I got a brace too. Go ahead, you go up all the way. There you go, I'll play catch up now. For you. The building process is fun, but watching something go up, knowing that someone's going to enjoy it for years and years and years to come, that is what makes this career very worth it. That was a tough one, not gonna lie. We're gonna net down the garage and do the same out in the garage. We still have the front garage wall to frame too. Um, for some reason I thought that was raked, but it's not. We're gonna get to that as well. This is what we call dirt framing. When there's no room on the slab to build, you gotta frame it in the dirt. It's not ideal, but you have to sometimes.
So now we have to get this header over here. This thing's six by 10 and 203 inches long. We are almost there. It is past the time that we typically work, but we're gonna try to get this wall framed and get this thing stood and in place, lock everything together to where nothing moves. So now the last thing I want to do is lift this wall and run it right into Jay's brand new truck. So Jay's going to pull out, I'm pulling my truck out, I need to get the little truss jib for the lift. We're going to grab this wall, get this thing tossed in place, brace it up, just tie it into the other walls and then get the heck out of here. It's a little bit later than we'd normally stay, it's really not that big of a deal, but we got this wall started, we need to get it up.
we got the garage wall in place and it looks so much more complete. It actually looks like a home. It's getting there guys. We have two more rake walls left to frame up. Those are gonna go up on the very far side towards the woods and then closest to the little music room. Today we wrapped up all of our plumbing lines, so that means we're good to shear panel on the outside. We could throw up all of our OSB, nail everything off, cut out all of our windows with the old router. I have a new router that I wanna try out, so hopefully all goes well with that. Quick little throwback for you guys and a little bet to make with you. Right around a year ago when we were just hitting 2,000, 3,000 subscribers, I was just coming up on YouTube, I made a bet with you guys on a video, super old video in the first build series, that if the video got more than 250 likes that I would get my hand tattooed with the words Nailer Sailor. It's something my pops has said for a very long time, um, something that I'll remember for the rest of my life, not just because of the tattoo, but because of the countless years that I've spent working with him. The video got well over 250 likes, I wasn't expecting it whatsoever, and I got it tattooed all the way across the top of my hand. So I want to make another little bet with you guys, 1500 likes on this video, I'll get my closing line bang on tattooed on me somewhere. I don't know where yet, I don't know where I'm going to put the thing yet, but I'll record going and getting the tattoo and you guys can see it afterwards, and probably for years to come here on YouTube. Drop a comment down below if you have any suggestions as to where I should put this. Chances are we're going to copy the same font that I've used for just about everything and blast it somewhere. Hope you guys are ready for that. Make sure to give a big like and we'll make it happen. But that's it guys, I'm going to head on out. Catch you guys next time. Bang on.